Hi everybody, welcome to Stamping with Melva. I'm Melva Peters and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in British Columbia, Canada. And you can find me online at stampingwithmelva.com. I also want to welcome you to, I think this is our third, maybe fourth, International Crafters Video Hop. Um, so every month we have a theme and we create a video uh, to share a project that is based on the theme. And this month, we're sharing projects that feature designer series paper. So what I thought I would show you is how you can make some great gift, gift treat holders. Um, these are, I made these years and years and years ago. Um, they're called sour cream containers and you may not actually remember sour cream or I remember milk or cream um, for your coffee that came in this little container. It's much smaller than this. Um, paper that you peeled off and then squished it and got the milk out. So they call them sour cream containers and they're perfect for putting treats in or you could put a gift in them if you have a small gift. Um, or if you wanted to actually make this in bigger, I'm using six by six designer series paper. So I'm going to show off the beautiful designer series paper um, that goes with the Joy of Noel bundle. Um, I think it's called Joy of Christmas is actually the designer series paper. Uh, it is absolutely stunning. And I think these are going to be perfect for my Christmas dinner table. I'll put some treats in them. Um, so let me switch over and I will show you how easy these are to make. All right, so first of all, let me show you what they look like. This is one that we made. Um, I belong to sorority, uh, Beta Sigma Phi sorority, and we made these for a recent banquet. So everybody got one of these. So this is what a sour cream container looks like. Um, basically, it's a rolled tube of designer series paper um, that you adhere on. You could adhere both ends. In this case, we actually um, just put a... Uh, used a hole punch, punched a hole, put some ribbon on it, um, and then we filled it with candy. So really easy. You could make this out of 12 by 12 um, cardstock if you're a designer series paper if you wanted to. Um, you could pretty much make it out of any size as long as it's square. I have made it out of four inch, but they're really quite small and I'm not sure what how much candy, for example, you could actually get into it. So let me show you what I'm going to use today for mine. I've pulled out, so since we're featuring designer series paper, I've pulled out two of my absolute favorite pieces from um, the Joy of Christmas designer series paper. And I have cut these to be six by six. So it's beautiful poinsettia, uh, white poinsettias and the berries, holly berries. Uh, and then on the backside is kind of a wood watercolor kind of wood finish. This one, I love these, these red berries. And then on this um, kind of a, a mottled um, shaded spruce. So those are going to be, those are my front sides. The other will be on the inside. So let's make these first and then I'm going to decorate them, um, create some tags. So let's make the, these and I'll show you how easy they are. You do need, um, yeah, I think I've got enough here. You do need tear and tape adhesive. So basically we are going to create a toilet roll. So I'm going to put um, some tear and tape right along, doesn't matter which edge. So right along the edge like that. Now, before I do this, so on here, one of the things that you can do is you can use your trimmer to put, you know, little score lines. And so that's what I'm going to do before I actually adhere this together. Um, we used to have a crimper. And so you could, if you've still got a crimper, you could use that. But to add a little bit more detail to mine, I'm going to use my trimmer. So I've got my tear and tape down one side. I'm going to use my trimmer and just use my scoring tool to, I'm going to do them at, at one eighth inch. So I'm just going to do three, maybe four, probably four on both ends just to add a little bit of detail and so then I'm going to um, do it on the other end. Now I've said this is six by six. Um, whatever in metric um, your 
it's the same size of designer series paper. So basically it's a quarter sheet of, um, of designer series paper. And these are um, one eighth inch in Imperial. And I'd say maybe three centimeters um, lines. And I'm gonna do that on this one before I actually put tape on it. So, cause I'm gonna make two of these to show you how easy they are. I may only decorate one, but. We'll see how it goes. All right, so again, I'm just scoring this quarter sheet of designer series paper for this size. And then I'm scoring it. And you don't have to do this. This is just to add some extra interest to um, the ends where you are um, adhering it together. There we go. All right, that just makes it easier. Okay, so I've got my I've got my adhesive on this end or on this side. So I'm just going to take my, I'm just going to fold it out part way um, so that when I, I can start getting it adhered. So just bring it across so that it overlaps that, um, that tear and tape. And then you can, Kind of get it into position and then you can start pulling the rest of it off so there you go that's the toilet roll two and i'm just going to take so you can use your your bone folder just to give it a really nice burnish um, so i'm just kind of pressing on the inside with my bone folder just to make sure that that is nice and sealed Okay, and I'm gonna do the second one at the same time. So I've, I've scored, if you can see my score lines, I'm gonna do the tear and tape um, on the opposite, one, one of the opposite sides. And I think I have a visitor coming. Yes, I do. <laughs> my puppy dogs decided to come up for a visit. All right. So again, we're going to do the same one there. I pulled my tear and tape off um, completely. Um, it is easier if you don't do that. And so we're just going to take and fold that over like that. Oopsie, getting your edges lined up as close as you can. There we go. Now, I also put it on the inside instead of the outside. So I did a whole bunch of things probably to make my life harder um, than this, than I did on the first one. So do it the way I did it on the first one. So there we go. Like that, there we go. All works, just have to kind of, it does work if you do it the way I did it in the first one. Okay, so there's my second um, one. Now, what you wanna do, let's go back to this one. We're basically going to pinch. So you're going to pinch one end flat one way and the other end flat in the opposite direction. So you kind of have this. So this is flat going up and down, up and down on this way and vertically or horizontally on this one. So vertically and horizontally. So opposite, opposite, pinch them opposite. Now, before you, of course, you know, pinch them and adhere them, which I'm not going to fill them with candy right now. But if you are making these, you want to um, fill them with whatever you're doing before you seal both ends. But I'm going to just take and I'm going to put another piece of tear and tape down at the bottom on one end. And you can just get use your piercing tool just to get underneath that the backing, hopefully. Come on. If it doesn't want to come off, just burnish it with your fingers or your bone folder. Just trying to get underneath the edge of it and it's not wanting to. There we go. Okay, so we're just going to pull that up. And then you're just going to pinch that and seal it. And so you've still got 
it's probably hard to say. Oh, there we go. You can still see the score lines a little bit, just to add a little bit of detail. Now, fill this up with some candies, Werther's, some chocolates, whatever it is you want to fill it up with. And then you're going to take and do the same to the other end. So like I said, I'm not going to fill it up. And now I'm going to take tear and tape. If you want to do what I did on the one I showed you that we did for the banquet, um, rather than seal both ends, we just used a hole punch and then put ribbon through it so it was easy to open. Um, maybe the first person getting this will appreciate that. But on these ones, I'm actually going to seal them up. And stop. So and again, remember, I'm pinching in the opposite direction as the first one. All right, there we go. So there is the first um, sour cream container. Let's do the other one and then I will um, decorate them. Okay, so I'm going to, these are about, how wide are these? So these are about three, well, they are three inches wide. So if you take some, some tear and tape that is about two and a half inches wide um, and put it on the inside, uh, you'll be able to seal it nicely. Again, I'm having all sorts of issues getting underneath my. There we go. Oops. No, pull it off. Come on. There we go. Okay. And so you get pinch that one. I'm pinching that flat like that. Just make sure you give it a really good burnish. You don't want that coming undone. And then this one, remember it's going in the opposite direction. So we'll take about two and a half inches of tear and tape and it's going to go in the opposite direction. Now put the tear and tape along that edge like that. Use your piercing tool. Don't forget to fill, the, fill it up with candy or whatever you're filling it up with. Your little gifts. This might be fun for, for kids' stockings to put little gifts in. Kids love to open up presents. Wouldn't that be fun to have these uh, sour cream containers full of little treats for them? There we go. Okay, so again, in the opposite direction. So there we go. Those are my two sour cream containers. So let's do a little bit of decorating since I can't just leave them as they are. I've cut two tags. I've cut them out of thick, basic white cardstock. And this is um, the tag that is part of the Marius Trees um, suite or bundle. So I'm just going to take and stamp this lovely I'm gonna do it twice I probably am just gonna color um, one of them but I love this stamp with the holly leaves and the berries and of course you want to make sure so in the in the um, so this is from the joy of Noel um, image so it's, these images are 85 percent so you can see the image is quite a bit bigger and there is a to and from so it's perfect for um, a tag. I'm going to put this on the back so that I have a place. Ooh, I didn't do that very straight. Let's try that again on this one. Oh, that's a little better. Okay, so let's take and color. So I pulled out Shaded Spruce and Real Red. So I'm going to do my berries in the light. Actually, I'm going to do them in the dark. The dark um, Real Red. I just there's not any room there to uh, to do any blending, so I'm just coloring those with um, real red um, Stampin' Blends. But I am going to try and do a little bit of shading. Um, so I've got my light shaded spruce. So I'm just coloring. I'll go back over with the dark. And I think I'm going to pull another green just to, so I'm going to do the holly leaves in the shaded spruce. And then maybe we'll pull, I don't know, 
garden green or old olive or something for these other the other leaves not a lot of room um, to do much blending at all with these so oh, this is mossy meadow that'll work this is a uh, light mossy meadow just nice to add a little bit of different green to the leaves because they are different so yesterday I made a wreath for my door. I took a, an amazing class. Um, I've never made wreaths before, but I made this huge, I couldn't believe how big it was, wreath that is now hanging on my front door. And it it's oh so pretty. It has um, it has pine, spruce, and fir uh, leaves in it. I'm just finding some more holly that I was doing in the shaded spruce. So yes, it's very pretty. And so just the subtleties of the, the different colors. So there we go. Now I'm going to just put a little bit of, of the dark shaded spruce on my holly. And then go back over it with. Here we go. All right. Now I pulled out the, this is the, the, it's very vanilla and um, black check. So I thought this would be kind of pretty on my, my, for my tags. Just going to put this through the end. So if you were using a hole punch, um, you could punch a hole and then just um, tie that through the end. Um, but because I haven't punched a hole, I'm just going to tie a single knot. Like that. Actually, maybe I'll, I think I, I cut extra, so maybe I'll see if I can tie a little bow. Sometimes I'm really chintzy with my ribbon and sometimes I'm a little generous. This time I seem to be a little generous. There we go. Get that untwisted. There we go. Like that. And then I can pull it and make it. Make them the same size. Pull the tails to the front. There. I love this this checked ribbon. All right, now the other thing that I want to decorate this with are these are, they're called loose, loose holly and holly gems and sequins. So there are holly leaves and red music in, musical notes, probably hard to see, and red gems. So I'm just going to take and I'm going to use um, just some of the little, the little gems the red gems on my tag. Let's see if I can pick some up without picking up the others. So, so I've got a musical note. So just a little dot of glue is enough to hold these. Sometimes they don't want to come off the putty end. There we go. There we go. Those will just take a minute to set. And I'll finish the other tag afterwards. But you get the idea. And if you wanted to, you could put, there are some really pretty sentiments. So I could cut this joyous or stamp this joyous and then put that on um, here as well. But basically, my tag is just going to go on like that. I'm going to use dimensionals. Oh, I guess I can't use dimensionals on the whole thing because I've got the to and from. So we'll just use one dimensional at the top like that. And then you can still lift it up and see who this is to and from. There we go. So I will finish off the other one afterwards. Um, but you get the idea. Um, just some nice tags on these. And uh, yeah, there's an idea for 
uh, some gift wrap, gift packaging that you may not have thought of. Definitely, um, a, I think it's a really cool idea if you do it um, for your Christmas table, for example, or any table. Use, um, use paper that isn't Christmas uh, and fill it with candy and it's a great table favor um, at any occasion. All right, there we go. Thanks so much for joining me today. Don't forget to check um, all of the great videos that the design team has created as part of this video hot. So all of the links to um, those, that are those that are participating are underneath this video. So take some time and check out all of the amazing projects um, related to designer series paper. Uh, and uh, let's see, we will be back next month with another video hot for you. All right, everybody, thanks so much for joining you, joining me today. Hope you have a great day. Happy stamping. Bye.